Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine war. Joe Biden to meet Ukrainian refugees after warning of chemical attack response, as Boris Johnson hits back at Kremlin, anti-Russian claim. Summary of headline article. President Joe Biden visits Poland later today, home to more than 2 million Ukrainian refugees. After earlier warning that NATO would respond in kind if Russia uses chemical weapons. It was there that the U.S. leader called Russian President Vladimir Putin a brute and said any chemical attack would trigger a response in kind, but that NATO would make that decision at their time. Prime Minister Boris Johnson was also at the NATO meeting and warned of very, very severe consequences if Russia used chemical or biological weapons. Mr. Johnson told reporters he was not remotely anti-Russian, and that no one involved in their international talks was against the Russian people. Another 6,000 missiles will also be sent to Ukraine in addition to the 4,000 already supplied. Mr. Johnson revealed on Thursday. From the Independent under the main headline of Snake Island Sailors Freed as Ukraine and Russia. Conduct prisoner exchange. Summary of headline article. Ukraine and Russia exchanged 50 military and civilian prisoners on Thursday. The largest swap reported to date. Including sailors captured during Moscow's assault near the infamous Snake Island. Ukraine's deputy prime minister said. Irina Verishchuk said Ukraine had returned 11 Russian civilian sailors rescued from a sunken ship near Odessa. It was not immediately clear whether the Ukrainian soldiers stationed on the island were among Thursday's freed captives. A satellite image shows Snake Island before the invasion. Maxar Technologies. Late last month Russian state media showed the arrival of the Snake Island soldiers in Sevastopol, Crimea, where they were reportedly being held. Snake Island is a largely uninhabited but strategically important strip of land in the Black Sea, about 186 miles west of Crimea. From The Guardian under the main headline of Ukraine War Latest News. Sanctions. A little late, Zelensky tells European Council. Biden to visit Poland. Live. Summary of headline article. What term do you want to search? Search with Google. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Queen pictured with walking stick. Summary of headline article. The new photos show the Queen viewing a display of artifacts from British craftwork firm Halcyon. Days at Windsor Castle. Just days before she hopes to attend a memorial service for her late. Husband Prince Philip Beaming Queen stands with her walking stick in new photos of latest engagement. The Queen is all smiles as she stands with her walking stick in new photos from her latest engagement. Much has changed since the outbreak of COVID-19. With the Queen. 95. Now using a walking stick. Confessing to mobility problems and usually carrying out only light duties at Windsor. She also picked up a larger rectangular trinket box, edged in lavender, featuring three color portraits of her late mother the Queen Mother as a young woman. Image. P.A. P.A. The Queen Mother was an avid fan of the firm's creations and first commissioned an enamel box in 1970 of her London home Clarence House. Other members of the royal family soon followed suit. And the Queen Mother went on to issue the company's first royal warrant in 1972. From Metro under the main headline of William accepts he won't match Queen's reign during. Controversial Caribbean tour. Summary of headline article. 
the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have touched down in the Bahamas after earlier visits to Jamaica and Belize. They were welcomed on Thursday by the country's Prime Minister, who paid tribute to the Queen. She continues to serve as the Commonwealth nation's head of state despite it gaining political independence in 1973. The royal tour has raised questions about the legacy of Britain in the Caribbean, much of which did not gain independence until the 1960s and later. William addressed the legacy of the slave trade head on earlier in the visit but, like his father Charles during a speech in Barbados in November, stopped short of any formal apology. From BBC under the main headline of P&O Ferries. Not consulting on job cuts broke law. Boss admits. Summary of headline article. The business would close. The business was not viable. This is the only way for us to save this business and we have moved to a model that is internationally recognized and widely used across the globe and by our competitors. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of North Korea test fired, monster missiles, that can rain death on millions in U.S. Summary of headline article. It was the first full ICBM test by nuclear-armed North Korea since 2017. And flight data indicated the missile flew higher and longer than any of North Korea's previous tests before crashing into the sea west of Japan. Unlike any of North Korea's previous ICBM tests, the Wasong-17 was launched directly from a transporter erector launcher. Telephone. Vehicle. Photos by state media showed. Its diameter is estimated to be between 2.4 and 2.5 meters. And its total mass. When fully fueled. Is likely somewhere between 80,000 and 110,000 kilograms. According to 38 North. A U.S. based program that monitors North Korea. South Korea's president-elect Yoon Suk-yeol, who will speak to Chinese President Xi Jinping later on Friday, said North Korea had nothing to gain from provocation. China is North Korea's sole major ally and neighbor. From The Guardian under the main headline of U.S. charges for Russian hackers over cyber attacks on global energy sector. Summary of headline article. The U.S. has unveiled criminal charges against four Russian government officials, saying they engaged in two major hacking campaigns between 2012 and 2018 that targeted the global energy sector and affected thousands of computers across 135 countries. The three accused Russians in that case are Pavel Alexandrovich Akalov, 36. Mikhail Mikhailovich Gavrilov, 42, and Mara Valerievich Chukov, 39. The Justice Department unsealed the two cases just days after U.S. President Joe Biden warned about evolving intelligence, suggesting the Russian government is exploring options for more cyber attacks in the future. These charges show the dark art of the possible when it comes to critical infrastructure, the official said. Now that these criminal charges are public, he added, the United States has, let them know that we know who they are. From iNews under the main headline of Ukrainian refugee visas delayed due to home office staff. Working from home. Claims official. Summary of headline article as well as staff working away from the office. The delays are also said to be exacerbated by staff shortages due to COVID sick days among officials managing the homes for Ukraine. The source told I, there are serious delays in getting the Ukrainian visas approved. Staff working from home are having to email colleagues in the office with queries and the response can be slow. While a spokeswoman for the Home Office said, all staff working to process Ukraine family scheme. Visas are working from the office, 
she refused to comment on how many staff working on the larger homes for Ukraine scheme were working from home. The Home Office added that figures for visas issued under the Homes for Ukraine scheme would be published in due course. From Mail Online under the main headline of Royal Fans are left swooning over Kate looking at William in uniform. Summary of headline article. Royal fans were left swooning today after Kate Middleton gazed at Prince William while he adjusted his military uniform during a parade in Jamaica. However royal followers couldn't help but spot what appeared to be a candid moment for the couple. As Kate watched Prince William adjusting his uniform as he took a seat at the event. Royal fans were left swooning today after Kate Middleton gazed at Prince William while he adjusted his military uniform during a parade in Jamaica. Pictured. One royal fan commented, she just couldn't stop looking at him. Single quote. William also quoted the Queen. Continuing, good leadership is hard to define, but it's easy to recognize in others. William and Kate have been visiting the Caribbean to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. But the trip has faced controversy and reignited Republican calls in Jamaica for independence. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.